and I'm trying to get every head coach to come back. I've already got Lum Wright to commit to coming, the coach from like 69, 70, 71, 72, something like that. Lum Wright Jr. is coming back. So I think that's going to be a big night. The reason I'm telling you that is a couple of things. One, uh, we'll always need money, right? Uh, we, we're going to need a, you know, if somebody would be so nice to sponsor uh, the t-shirts, I mean, it's going to cost us about $600 to get those shirts to the teach, to get them all taken care of. And we're going to provide barbecue at 6 o'clock uh, for any football alumni that want to come back just to see their buddies or whatever. I don't know how many will come back. We could have 100, we could have 500. I don't know. But I got to get the barbecue paid for it as well. So anybody that feels so uh, kind and generous, uh, we, we appreciate any help we can get. Gordon's hunting up anybody from the 30s to the 70s. And he said the last time they did this, they had a picture. And everybody to the left of Gordon is dead in that picture now. So you don't want to be the left of Gordon if you're in this picture uh, on, in the Dangerfield game. But just 10 years ago, I know we did it in 2003. Since then, you know, I know Coach Bill has passed away. Coach Bill helped me head up all the Bruce people. And now uh, Anderson King is helping Gordon with all the Bruce players. I learned being around teenagers, it's, it's, it's cool, it's pretty important. Uh, and it comes from a verse in Revelation 2 2. Where the deuce deuce comes from, where John is talking about how he knows how hard they work, how they persevere, but yet there are still people in the church that are, are fake, they're not real. And our team has chosen to use that for their motto. There's many things we're going to spin off of that. So, so if you hear that, you at least have a clue what deuce deuce stands for. On my particular team this year, I've got my first AM commit. I'm sure that fires up some people in this room, uh, and some people it doesn't. Uh, Still haven't had a kid go to Baylor yet, so Bill, Bill's going to kill me if I don't get somebody down there. Uh, but Josh Walker's over at A&M. Uh, I have another kid named Devon Dixon that's going to go play at Texas State. And probably have two or three other guys that will end up getting scholarships and just hadn't had them yet. We currently have playing uh, in the National Football League. Todd, uh, son Davis with Buffalo Bills, and Todd's here. Uh, Curtis Brown's the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. Uh, G.J. Kings with the Philadelphia Eagles. And college ranks, I'm just going to talk Division I. I'm not going to tell you all the junior college, all Division II, all Division III will be here all day. But just Division I, some guys you might want to keep up with. We've got Brother the Way, who starts at Safety at the University of Missouri. Uh, Darian Potter, who starts at Safety at the University of Rice. Uh, Luke Turner, who's a, a fullback, tight end, H receiver for Rice. Gus Johnson, who's just breaking all kinds of records at SFA. He's, he's the the cover of their magazine, cover of their newspaper, he's preseason All-American. So Gus is doing fantastic student at Austin. You got Jacob Jenkins of Oklahoma State, who's competing for a starting job with offensive line. So that's just some of our kids that have gone on uh, that you guys can keep up with. There's there's probably seven kids playing Division II, probably nine playing Division III, and probably eight playing junior college right now. So uh, a lot of kids out there. As far as our season, it's a different kind of season for me. Uh, we had a lot of kids return. Uh, last year, we were a brand new team. So I was just working the hound out of them, scared to death, we weren't going to win a ball game. And we were very fortunate to win any of them, and we ended up winning 14 of them. I think we were losing in seven or eight of those games in the fourth quarter, or tied. And uh, I'll be honest, we were very fortunate at times. We just had some, there were some games we won where I just almost shook my head and was embarrassed to shake the other coach's hand because. I, I felt like he deserved a win, but somehow we got out there to win. Uh, this year it's a little different. Uh, we got most of those kids back. So now I close my eyes in practice because I'm afraid they're going to get hurt. And I don't want to practice at all. I just want to get to the game. But, but as you know, if you guys have played, you know you've got to practice or you won't be ready. So uh, it's a different kind of season for us. There's nothing different as far as the expectations. We've been picked to win our district now, I think, 12 years in a row. We've been preseason top 10 by 12 years in a row. So it doesn't matter what team we feel out there, they're going to pick us up there. So that doesn't matter. My kids don't even blink at that stuff. Um, I've never seen as much excitement for a team uh, since the Friday the old 19. The community is really excited about them. Uh, everywhere I go, there's a tremendous buzz. I'm sure the stadium has something to do with that. Extremely proud of the stadium. I just can't tell you how excited our kids are when they sit on the field and just how proud. I can't. And we, we, I've seen a lot of people get their tickets. I was on Mr. Albert last night. I, I would say 95% of the people I deal with, they always stop and tell me how proud they are of the stadium. And obviously there's always going to be some people that are upset. Uh, that's, just, that's just life. And we need those people in our lives too. Uh, we do. Uh, you know, it, it makes you look at yourself a little harder. You get grounded all the time. Uh, and 
I do take criticism seriously. Uh, there are people in here that have criticized me, and we listen to criticism. We do. Uh, and then if it's not valid, we ignore it. But I, I do I do listen. So if there's error in uh, about anything, we'll do our best to get it right.